Hi, I'm Brian Warner, pastor of the Churchtown Church of God, and I just want to welcome you to this congregation. Around here we've got two sayings. One, traditional, but we're not old-fashioned. And two, not just come as you are, be as you are. I want to welcome you into our sanctuary and allow you to experience what they've been experiencing here for 181 years of existence. The power of the Holy Spirit, personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Come on in, let me show you around. The sanctuary itself was built somewhere in the 1850 range. Before that, uh, the congregation existed only a half a mile up the street where it was started in a farmer's field. Since the original construction, there have been two additions. We're walking through one of them right now. This is our sanctuary. We have one service, Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. During that time, we'll all worship together, young and old, until this sermon comes. And then we'll break into children's church and adult. That's really the only difference here in this family. We try to take care of one another, just like God asks us to. And so we worship together. As you can see, the pride and joy of this church's sanctuary is the stained glass, which has been accumulated over the past 100 years, mostly in memory of various members, town members, church members, um, whose family have donated them in their honor. Forty percent of our wall space is covered by single plane, homemade stained glass. The sanctuary itself used to be facing that way. In the 1960s, I believe, it was switched from that being the front of the church to this being the front of the church, and the sanctuary was expanded for the last time. And this is where we are every Sunday morning. One of the interesting things that we have here at uh, Churchtown is we still have an active choir. Traditional, not old-fashioned, church choir that uh, sings about once a month, meets pretty regularly every Wednesday night to practice. That's the vantage point that you have now of our choir looking out into the sanctuary. We have a very active music ministry with several uh, gifted musicians, singers, and uh, music is a huge part of our worship and what we really enjoy doing. So a typical service... We open in song and in prayer. We spend time in fellowship. Uh, and then we enter into worship. We sing traditional hymns. We sing worship songs. We sing with piano, with organ, with flute. We sing a cappella. We sing to the videos. And we sing out loud to the Lord. We spend a special time together then in prayer. We, we gather together and we share one another's burdens for a period of time. That's always a highlight of Sunday morning, to be able to speak with one another, to be able to speak with the Lord on behalf of one another. And then we learn, and then we learn. We read from the Word and uh, deliver a message, and we try to figure out how the Lord's trying to speak to us that day. And that's really important because then we carry that through our week as we connect with one another, we talk with one another, and we bring up how the Lord spoke to us that Sunday morning and what He was trying to show. The next Sunday then, part of that testimony will be how that service, that word, that teaching affected our lives that week. So it's kind of neat. It's kind of like an ongoing prayer journal. As a matter of fact, we keep those. So. Well, obviously, if you're on our website looking at this video, then you know that we're online. Uh, I hope that you check out the rest of the website. There's a calendar with all of our events. There's a little blog with some of my thoughts, and you can get to know me a little bit better. Uh, and there's a variety of different information and things that we do and how we operate. Also, if you look up Churchtown Church of God on uh, Facebook, you can keep up with various events and things that we post there. 
and Twitter as well, at Churchtown Church of God. On top of that, we also have a text message devotional that we send out weekly, bi-weekly, um, and we also have an email list that we can be a part of as well. Speaking of email, if you have any needs at all, whether you ever come visit us or not, feel free to use the prayer request and uh, on the website. I guarantee you'll be prayed for. It's our pavilion and our land. Lots of things happen here from chicken barbecues to bonfires um, to hay rides. Um, every year we have the big church picnic out here as well. And uh, this is pretty much used by the whole town, actually. Um, oftentimes people just come to either play on the playground or play kickball over there. It's become sort of a staple here in the middle of church town. So we love it. And it gives us a wide variety. We have gospel concerts out here, uh, movie nights out here. There's a little movie screen up there that we've installed. All kinds of fun stuff. So we just like to do what we do, like I said. So okay. thank you very much. Again, I want to invite you, Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, come as you are, be as you are. The Holy Spirit's been moving here for 181 years, and if you're feeling that, come and join us and connect.